Right, welcome back to another video, guys, on the channel. How for beer? Remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Let's get us up to a, over the 500 subscriber mark. We're getting really close now at the minute. So, as I said on the last video, I'm um, starting the new campaign on the little walk that's down the road, and I thought I'd uh, come down. It's Sunday now, 16th of um, January. Uh, Fridays will be the days that I fish down here, but I'm going to come down every Sunday and walk the lake for an hour or two, and see if I can find anything. So uh, yeah, this is one of the little uh, vlog updates of me walking around the lake on the hunt to try and find some signs of fish or something out. And I thought I'd uh, do a little video just to show you. So uh, less of me talking, and let's get on and show you some of the lake I've found. So I've been watching the water for a while now. This is around the back spot. So as I've shown you on the other video, uh, over there, that over there, that's the car park, so I've just walked around, but rather than me walking around that way this time, I've walked around that way. And what I'll do is the swim that I showed you last week over there where I caught the fish, I'll do a little bit of a filming in that as I walk around towards, back towards the car park and just show you where it was. But uh, I've been walking around it for a bit now and still not seeing anything looking around in the little coves and out towards the island of where the wildlife is, but yeah. No shows, so this is going to be one hell of a campaign this year, trying to get one out of here. But yeah, that's this bit, and then I'm going to walk round. See, so there's loads of little craggy areas like this. But close up, it's really, really shallow. You probably can't see it from the video, but it really is shallow close up, and then it just drops out. It's a typical gravel pit, basically. So this is one of the other areas. See, I really cut sort of fancy either back towards where they feed the ducks. I don't know whether I'm going to start on there on Friday, but as you can see, look, you'll probably see it. I've got my Polaroids on, but it's really, really shallow, and then it just drops off out and then just drops off. And it's from all the areas that I've checked with me float, it's about 14 foot deep. There might be eight different spots, but I could really do with a deeper. One of the uh, one of the subscribers commented on one of the videos last saying you could do with a deeper, it'd save so much time, and I think it would. But at 200 quid a pop, I can't really afford one of them at the minute, so that's going to have to wait. So I'm going to have to go old school watercraft. But yeah, I'm going to walk around to that little craggy bit that's uh, in through the bushes soon. So I don't really want to be filming that because I'll probably end up dropping my phone in the bushes or something. This is one of the other open areas. You only ever see an handful of people fishing on this lake, so there is only a few fish in it. So you only see a few people fishing it every now and again, so it's not like some day ticket water that's busy all the time. Summertime, there's a few few anglers on there, but when you know there's only a small amount of fish in there, not many people really won't even want to touch it when it's over 20 acres. But yeah, I'll uh, stop this bit here and then I'll uh, come back recording as I get round to that corner, which is over in that corner on the back of them reed beds. I'll see if I can walk through the bushes somehow and see if I can get some filming down there. So I'll catch you up on the next bit. So this is that little corner spot I was uh, showing you last week, uh, just on the left there. You just have to go through all the bushes and stuff and around, and that's the very, very corner. But I think if, uh, with it being a bit of a sun trap in this corner, and it drops off there, I'll put a little bit of bait down there. So on Friday when I come down, and fish I'm going to put a bit of bait down here and I'll probably fish around that side and then I'll come back and drop a rod in here but I would think this is a an ideal place as you can see the sun comes up and down over to this corner but I've been here a while now and I've not seen anything but all it takes is just one show just one show to give it away that's all I need so I'm going to keep walking the lake now. This is only going to be a short vlog anyway, in all fairness, once you've seen it. I'll do a bit of filming on Friday when I come down with my rods, show you my setup, what I'm using. But yeah, I'll do a bit more around there, where them rushes are. You look right out there. You can't really get to them though. But I think if they're going to be holding up anywhere, it'd be there if the water's deep enough, but I need to go and have a good look around there. So yeah, so we'll see. I'm going to uh, clamber myself out of these bushes and uh, walk around to another spot. There's another little spot. Sun beating down right on this corner. 
and that little corner that I just filmed is right tucked away in there. I'm thinking if it's like this on Friday when I come down, if I come down this end, I'm going to put some, some zigs on, I think. It's going to be a process of elimination on this one. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time down here, pre-baiting spots, walking the bank, putting a rod in the water, and we'll see how we go. Let's move on to the next spot back round. This is another spot I really like, I put in the last vlog, it's got quite open, this comes up into the other corner, so the far corner, that the little snaggy bit that I was on about is right over in that corner, car park's over that side, I've had that fish from down there, and then they've got this corner here, wind always seems to be blowing around this corner area, most of the time, so I've been walking around this lake for an hour or two now, I'm not seeing a show anywhere. But you've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? Hello so guys, this is the swim that I actually had the fishing earlier in last year. I heard a splosh that wound a duck or a swan or something and I flicked my rod. About six wraps up there towards where the ducks were. And then within about 20 minutes, I had that 19 pounder out. That's the only one I've had. And then the same day, I seen a show out in front, probably about 12 wraps out, eight, no, 10 wraps out. I seen a roll. And that is pretty much all I've seen in the year I've been walking this lake. So I'm definitely up against it, but we'll give it a go. So that's it for this vlog. Number one on the hunt. And uh, I'll see you on the next one on Friday when I actually come down and put a couple of rods in the water. Thanks for everyone. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.